Okay, so this looks like quite a complicated question. Um, the important part of this question actually is this bit here. Now, this looks like it's trying to give you a little bit of help. Actually, it gives you a huge amount of help. It's basically telling you that when you add them together, the common denominator will just be a quadratic. Now, it might be tempting just to multiply all of this by all of this and kind of get a cubic equation. But actually, the answer is saying, no, don't do that. The bottom will work uh, if you factorize it. So what we need to do is factorize the one on the right, and hopefully we will notice something about it. So we've got videos on how to factorize quadratics where a is more than one. Um, and it's quite a unique method, but I'm going to go for it quickly. But please use the videos for a kind of slower exp explanation. So what I do is I times together the first and last ones, times them together, and that gives me 48. And then I've got to find a factor pair of 48 that adds together to make the coefficient of the x. So 2 and uh, 24 won't work. Uh, 3 and 16. So then I rewrite the 19x as 16 and 3. 3 and 16 doesn't matter. You get the same. You get the same answer eventually either way. Then I just look at these two and factorize them linearly, and I just factorize those two linearly. So 8x squared plus 16x, so I can divide out an 8x, and 3x plus 6x, I can divide out a 3. And you notice that the bracket here is the same. Then you pair up the bracket that's the same with the bits on the outside, so you get 8x plus 3 and x plus 2. Cool. So I can rewrite that. Now I'm going to rewrite the question. So now it becomes 1 over 8x plus 3 x plus 2 plus 1 over x plus 2. Now you notice that actually that bracket is the same. So all I need to do is times top and bottom here by 8x plus 3. I'm squishing in a little bit. And it will have a common denominator. Right, so um, I'm going to rewrite that just to make sure my working out is really clear. So top the top becomes 8x plus 3. And the bottom actually is the same as the other side, which is good because now we can add the tops together. So if we add the 1 to the 8x plus 3, we get 8x plus 4. And then we've got 8x plus 3, and then x plus 2. And that's my answer.